This is a photograph that I thought I'd just start with, really. That is me on the right, looking like a bloke. It's, uh, it's not a very sexy outfit, as you can see. Is being world class for special people, or is it for everyone? Interesting though, isn't it, that the, the qualities you need to be winning in a Formula One car aren't actually any different, really, to the qualities you need to be winning here. Is, is there anything else, is there anything on this list I can go and buy more of? No. Is there anything on this list I can hold in my hand? Is there anything I can photograph? So, so where does all this stuff lie? Where do I find more of it? Interesting, isn't it? That all the things I asked you, that the qualities that you need to be, to be great, you've just told me are all inside you. Because you can't go and buy any or pick them up or hold them in your hand or whatever. All I would say was that I just encourage you to just, at the very least, just have a little peek over this line and just see what lies out there because that's when life I think gets really interesting. So this, this zone of stretch is incredibly productive. You are performing, geez, up here, not down here with no targets. This stretch period is really, really productive. So I asked you right at the beginning if you thought world class was for special people or for everyone and you told me that it was probably for everyone and I would absolutely agree with you. I think that world class is simply a choice. It's a choice that you decide that you're going to up your game or it's a choice you make that you're not. <laughs> <laughs>